interesting. So does anyone have any questions for Bobby? Ah, the book. Ah, the book is available next door at um, Westlake Music. They're selling it. Um, they're selling a couple of the other books too. I think uh, How to Make Your Band Sound Great, which is a, a guidebook to improve your band, and um, the Studio Musician's Handbook. They're also selling there, which is another book that we recently did in yeah. West LA in the next room on the left. Um, the book is 19.95, and they're giving a big discount. It's 15 dollars, I think. And I'm and sure that Bobby would be happy to sign it for you if you wanted to purchase it today. Be happy to sign it. Answer any questions you'd like. It oh, that's a good question. Um, YouTube is an incredibly powerful tool for marketing your music. And in many different ways. Um, and it's not only YouTube, it's, it's video in general, because through TubeMogul, for instance, you can hit all of the video distribution sites, uh, and you'll find that you get plays in, in places that you just never dreamed of. Uh, but one of the things that people kind of forget about is the uh, SEO, the search engine optimization, when you're, using, uh, when you're putting together a, a music video or just any, any kind of uh, behind the scenes thing, for instance. Uh, uh, one of the things that you should do, for instance, is just a, a quick couple of things. Um, always put video at the end of your, um, of your title. So you'd say whatever the name of the song is, video. And it makes a big difference because a lot of times uh, people will in fact zero in on that if they know it's a video. And the search engine will uh, index it a little bit differently as well. So that's one trick. The other trick is put as large a description as you can. And sometimes, you know, they just put a very, very s short description. Oh, this is a song by Joe Blow. Well, really, it should be, this is a song by Joe Blow on such and such a label released on this date. Here are the players in, in, in uh, Joe Blow. Here's Joe Blow's producer. Here's, in, you know, everything you can think of. Because the more information you have, the better, and the higher it, it indexes which the next thing would come up to is the search engine optimization of how you do all that as well. Let's say, first thing is keywords. And this is where uh, people get it completely wrong because they think keywords, okay, I'm gonna put guitar, I'm gonna put Gibson, I'm gonna put, uh, um, we're in Austin, I'm gonna put Austin, and they'll put 100 different keywords in. And that actually works against you because Google considers that keyword stuffing and penalizes you. And really, you're better off with no more than five really good keywords or keyword phrases. You know, keyword phrases, two, three, four words. That actually ranks a lot better. So you're better off to figure what those five words are, get them in the tags, and then also make sure, if you can, that the ideal situation is a keyword is in your, um, your title, it's in your tags, and it's also a few times in the description as well. And that's the, the real key to do that. Now, if you put it too many times in the description, again, it's called it's keyword stuffing and it could work against you. But uh, if you do it a few times, it actually is, is a good thing that you can do and it works very, very well. So th these are all important things with video. You can't just put it together, even if it's great, and slap it up there. There are ways to go about it to make it uh, uh, benefit you, uh, give you greater benefit than you could get before. So great question. Yeah. Are there any other questions? Anyone else? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. He wants. No, there's. I don't have a list of music libraries in there. Um, it, it's. Um, it, this isn't a book so much about publishing, except for the fact that it tells you that, you know, publishing is pretty happening, and here's what you ought to do. Here's some places that you ought to consider, some areas that you should consider. But it's not specifically about li you know, libraries. But it's pretty easy to get because if you just do a Google search, you'll get a million of them and uh, you know, they're all good these days. Anyone else? Any more questions? Oh, you know, something else about libraries that are kind of interesting is um, people kind of forget TV mixes, about TV mixes. Uh, everybody know what a TV mix is? Okay, a TV mix is um, a mix of your song without a vocal. And originally it was used if you went on TV, instead of lip syncing, you would actually sing live and it would sound really good. 
Well, in fact, that's a very powerful thing for music libraries a way, uh, as well because they don't always want or need a vocal, but they maybe might be able to use that basic track and it might be a lot more valuable without a, a vocal on it. So TV mixes are very important and something you should always remember when, when you're, you're doing anything, any kind of music. That's great advice. Does yeah. anyone else have any other questions? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, measurement. Uh, measurement's one of the most important things uh, for anybody to realize in, in Music 3.0. Um, and luckily now we have the ability to do all sorts of tracking that we never could before. And I'll just give you some right off the top without going to a third party site. Google Analytics is terrific. And um, it's one that I use all the time. It's very easy to set up. Google, Google Analytics. You go, just go to do a, 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 a search, Google Analytics, and it will take you there. Uh, the second one is there's a, for YouTube, they have a wonderful analytics site. It's, it's fabulous. If you just look under their analytics, uh, it, it will tell you demographic information. It will tell you even what part of the video people liked and what they didn't. And if people turn it off, it will tell you when that happened. Um, there's another one that I like. It's called... Um, uh, stat count and it's something I use all the time as well and it tells you all the people that will come to your blog will come to your um, uh, your particular website anything like that uh, but I think the, the figures are a lot more reliable than if you went to uh, for instance your website you went to your ISP and you, you downloaded those analytics I happen to like stat counter a lot better um, and if, if you want you can track a person back to the very house that they're living in. You can't tell who they are, but you can tell what kind of computer they used and where they're living at. And you'd be surprised, again, you'll see some stuff come in from, from Latvia or you know, from Saudi Arabia or from Indonesia, and you go, wow, I had no idea that people were, were, were into me over there, you know, that they, were that, that they found me interesting, people in some place else in, in the world. Yeah, it's fascinating. So th th those are just three off the top. The Tint Tracer is another one. T-Y-N-T Tracer is another good one. And that gives you a piece of code. Uh, Stack Counter does the same thing. piece of code that's invisible that you put on your website or your blog. And what it actually does, though, is it will not only trace the number of copies, if people will copy something off of your blog, for instance, or um, a piece of text, it copies it, but it also puts a warning. So when they actually paste it into their blog or paste it into their website, a warning will come up and they'll say, well, this is uh, under Creative Commons, you know, wh whatever part of Creative Com Commons you decide to use. So all of those things, those four uh, right off. And there are numerous other sites that you can go to for measurement, and they're all really good. Nimbit, actually, uh, over here, they have a, a fairly interesting uh, uh, measurement, uh, some cri in interesting measurement criteria that you can use as well. They're cool. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, Bobby, thank you so much. I guess if we can walk away with anything right now, it's that we need to be gathering lots and lots of information and using it going forward. And you know about the tools. Um, Bobby will be hanging out over at West LA Music with his book, Music 3.0. You can go over and buy it, talk to him, ask him yeah. lots of questions. He will be happy to answer them. Thank yeah, you for too. coming by. Thank you.